What's going on guys? Back with another video. Possibly we're filming this clip just in case. Down here with Blake, we're picking up another car. That's a whole different story. You can probably check it out on his channel later. We just got word. Okay, so Terminators are like crack to me now and I am like addicted, right? Watching Terminator videos, building Terminator. Can't wait to put my silver Terminator together. And this guy we're picking up this car from has a red fire burp. And he just said a price that already sounds pretty good. It says it might smoke a little bit since a picture. Red, come on, red fire burp. We're already going to get a good deal from this guy, technically speaking. Yeah. And then he just spits out, oh, I have another one too if you know anyone that's interested. So, and now we're like, damn it, we only brought the single car trailer. We, yeah, we got one car trailer. We have two Terminators that we're picking up. We're gonna have to drive one back. I might have to tune, lo load a tune into one of them real quick. And, you know, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. We kind of played a little bit of the chill route. If this guy watches this video later, yes, you know, we, we gotta we gotta play the game. But we're like, yeah, we, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at it. I'm over here like <sighs> about to buy this thing. We're gonna bring you along with the journey. I don't know how this is gonna go. But, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the silver burr, the red fire burr. I, I want a Terminator. I want a Terminator, I'm itching for it. We we're basically ready to put the silver burr together this weekend. I, and I also told myself I'm not allowed to buy any other cars for personal reasons. I, I can buy uh, part of cars, but this one's not a part of. I just thought it was funny how we're like going to get this one car already for a good deal. I already filmed a little video for my channel earlier. So, and this guy's like, hey, uh, I got another one. And I'm like, that's a clean car. He's like, it might need rags and smokes a little bit. And I'm like, it looks like a clean car. And I'm like, watch him come back and say like he wants ten grand for it. And he came hey, back and look, said he wanted to. You know, if it's meant to be, I mean, like, like when you said red fire, he showed me a picture of it. Like, like sometimes like life and things just like like if it just puts that in my face, like we gotta roll with it. Like I know Silver Bird, you saw all the parts I bought. The cool thing is everything that I bought and had planned and like is going into the silver bird can't go right in the red fire car if we don't buy it then uh you guys will never see this clip come on come on you're gonna tell me this hit like how, how are you how are you gonna do this to me just gonna dangle a red fire freaking terminator in my face All right, gentlemen, so given the fact that Andrew does buy this red fire Terminator that this guy has, um, I will be obligated to drive four hours back home in the black Terminator. Now, the reason we brought the trailer with us is because the black Terminator apparently has a tune that's not meant for it at all, so it probably doesn't drive very well. Tuning man, Mustang lifestyle there's, tuning. Dude, there's just chickens crossing the road back there. <laughs> why did the chicken, why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did a red fire cobra just, just happen to just tease me like this today? If Man, we, it, is that not a sign? Dude, this, dude, is, this fucking, South Florida of driving <laughs> shit is nuts. Like, I, the amount of times I've been cut off today, it's insane. If he gets the red fire car, the black car will need to be driven home four hours and it's got tuning problems. So we're gonna have to friggin' cook a little something up for it while we're down here. Yeah, I got the HP tuners with me. I don't think I have my SCT dongle. I was having a hard time finding it today, but um, HP tuners, we should be able to get it done. Oh yeah. Oh dude. Oh man. <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> Play cool.
I have a silver bird that I've been working on putting it back together. But I don't really like the silver bird. And he sent a picture of red. I'm like, I don't like both of these colors either black or this. Yeah. Um Windows down. It's still smoking. Ugh. Well, fellas, I'm speechless. I I was up really late last night. I'm probably a little bit out of it, but it's a red fire freaking Terminator. It, it's like like it's got some some dings and things going on, but like like we can fix this. I like it. Yeah, I mean, should, should we say what we paid for it? Like, go for it. Eight thousand. I mean, obviously it's got a blown motor. I mean, that thing's that thing's blown. Mm -hmm. Like, it's got a ring issue, probably some piston wall. Just, it, it's got, it's got the issues. But um, I looked. It looks like it has Meco six pound lower. Oh yeah. It's got a BA 2600 MAF. This is a bit janky, but um, it is what it is. Like the paint's overall pretty clean. Front bumper is a little rough. Headlights, you know, the basics. Oh, we got headlights. Yeah, we got headlights. Got some decisions to make or put the, the other motor in this one. I don't know. I think you should just build one for this and just be on with it kind of thing. Yeah. This is, I got problems. So, oh, and the other thing, so um, the plan was to tow that one back to up north, and then we found out this one was here. So this one is definitely not drivable, no, <laughs> if you one. saw the smoke cloud. Um, but that one, we're gonna go take down the street and um, hopefully get a tune in it so it drives better. It's, it's really lean right now. Um, I don't know what the mods are on it, but I'm sure. There's a bunch of stuff in the car, I don't know if you saw in there. I'd probably put a lot of it in your bed. Yeah, yeah. We'll uh, we'll try to see if we can get a tune in and make, make it run better. Um, that one should run better than this one. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Just got the twelve thousand dollar two two Kenny Bell Terminator, baby. It's not in terrible condition.
What's that? The tire looks a little flat. The tire? The tire. Alright, thank you. Like, I was going out of like his driveway and like right around that corner. A guy was like, hey, your tire is flat, bud. Alright, like, well, okay. let's hope it blows up. Huh? Let's hope it blows up. Why? Otherwise, we're stealing that one. Hey, we got a whole parts car, bud. Whole parts car. I guess we could dismantle the wheels. I do what we got to do. That thing ain't making it back. Let me tell you what. That tire? No, that car. Oh, that car, yeah. That's weird. People are fucking. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Cop goes by. Didn't make it very far. Uh, let's try this one. Uh, Amazon special, buddy. Same thing. Cigarette lighter. Hopefully she works. Do you want to push it over to the left more? I can drive it. Yeah, let's just drive it over more. <laughs> it's okay. You're good? Yeah, you, that's fine. I called up my friend Danny Thorgan, SVT Garage. He's a fellow Cobra. Uh, I bought some parts for the Silver Cobra to put that one back together so I'd have a Terminator. And uh, from him. Coming and, to the uh, rescue to to help yeah, us out. Spring two floor jacks, impact, little spline lug tool. I mean, what a guy. Dude, he said he's 20 minutes away. So he's going out of his way. C8. Damn, dude, that thing smoked. That's bad. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Yeah. This car is fairly clean for yes. for what I paid. Yeah. How many miles are on it? 93. Yeah, call me here to one of the miles. I was the guy who was going to Well now, so I was putting my silver bird together. I'm gonna put this together instead. Or I might still put the silver one together to sell it. I think this one's over. I've been doing it. Operate this bag in it. Yep. Probably roll it across. Got Danny, SVT Garage. Just bought some parts from you. Not too long ago. I could have yes, picked sir. them up, man. You could have, would have saved the ship. Well, I wasn't expecting to buy a Terminator. I see a tire man out here. Yeah, that's a. Quite the operation here. Shout out to Danny Thornton, SVT Garage. Cobra's back, good to go. We got the Rovos on the Cobra. They're headed north, four hours to go, baby. How you feeling? A little hungry, a little. We were better. gonna try tuning the Cobra, but it seems to drive okay. I really don't wanna risk br bricking the ECU with our luck so far on this trip on the side of the road. That would, that would. At least if we break the ECU in the garage, you know, it Dude, is what it is. But like, let's take a second to like give a huge shout out to the fucking man, Danny. There, dude. He, That's... dude, this would have been like I was kind of like sitting there, like, damn, this is kind of low key a nightmare because we're far. You know, it's already a five hour trip. So when we left at like six o'clock, we were looking at like a getting home around like me getting home around like ten eleven, and then that happened. I was like, yeah, I'm not getting home till like tomorrow. But at least now we kind of salvaged a little bit more of a loss than I thought it was gonna be. Yep. So we're gonna go hit the gas station and hopefully the rest of the drive is smooth. All right, back on the road. This car needs a tune really bad, but I really don't wanna risk HP tuners breaking the ECU on the side of the road. Oh, that's what the Whistler looks like on it. Yeah. 14 0 16 0 16 0 Alright. Well, let's go get some Chipotle, brother. You see that Red Fire Cobra, bro? <laughs> Alright, we got the we got the Chipotle down the gullet. We got the Starbucks on deck, me and me and Andrew both. He's got the Red Fire 
Terminator strapped up on the trailer and it's nice, comfortable F F-250. Yeah, I'm well, gonna be chilling. I'm gonna be in a Cobra that needs a tune, has the wrong ejector data, is has a tune made for like- Yeah, it's a little rough. E85 might most likely not. I really want to tune it. I just really don't want to risk breaking the ECU on the side of the road. I, it runs, it runs and drives. I just really don't want to, like, like I got, I got no plays if it breaks the I'll ECU. Get, let's let's get on the interstate a little bit. Let's see what a little bit of interstate driving is like with that thing. If it's really bad and we have no other option, then yeah. Like I know I can tune it, but the problem is, like that There's that car, that, when you're flashing something that car had a bad battery, right? So we just put a, a used battery out of this car in there. We've already had the time. The luck isn't on our side. So. I gotta drive the old clapped Cobra. That's the name of that thing, the clapped Cobra. Yeah, it's. The clapper. The clap she, she needs some love. The clapped Cobra, four and a half hours. Four and a half hours to your house and like an hour back from your house to my house. Yep. Sheesh. Tune's a little rough. I, I guarantee if we disconnected that battery, wait a couple seconds to put it back on, we probably wouldn't do that shit for another 100 miles. Let me go open up my laptop. Let me see what we can do. One Whistler, Dude, Provos. It was, it was like, I yeah. I don't know if you could hear it, but like I could hear it. It was like it would just get really difficult. Sheesh! Look at the freaking red fire Terminator. A little dusty. All right, so on Blake's Cobra, I was gonna try to load a tune in it. HP tuners isn't communicating and I don't have my SET tools with me, but uh, we just made a discovery on the uh, Cobra here. So looking here, the car keeps going rich. We look at fuel pump duty cycle, 0.45. So 0.49 is maxed. Ready? Watch this. This is fuel rail pressure. This is fuel pump duty cycle. there and this is going 0.49 which is max on the fuel pump duty cycle so it's basically ramping the pump to max to basically try to get this back to 39 and um it, it's the pumps is done yeah and it scares me because if it's if that one pump is having to run this car it's gonna it's not gonna last very long either well that's that's why you're having some sputtering issues so like even if i tune the car um, I, now it, it does have the wrong injector data in it. Uh, we confirm that it has 60 pound injector data. Um, based, they have just the SET can. It tune. is 60. It is 60 pound injectors in it though. 80s. It's got 80s in it. Yeah. Oh well, there's there's cool. been the tuning problem with this car the entire its entire existence. Yeah. Well, at least that's what Corey told me. He told me it has 80s. So it has 60 pound injector data with 80s in it, which. It's going to be chasing things there, but the the fuel pump duty cycle should never be that high, just at idle. So what's happening is the pump's going in between full blast and not, and you're going rich and sputtering. So I think we just got to keep putt putting it back and um, see the best that we can do. My fear is is that that pump didn't have that problem fucking 30 minutes ago, and now it does. And now this last one, if it, if one went out and there's only one running, how long is that one gonna last? Running at almost max. Hopefully, hopefully two hours, bud. Hopefully I think this thing's going to need a fuel system. At least pumps. I have a stock hat pumps in my house. I'm just chilling around. You know my opinion there. Well, let's get back on the road because I don't think a, a tune's going to fix a hardware issue. No. I just I need to have that explore ready to, to see what's going on. Yep. You'll, you'll be able to see there. Battery vultures are looking good. Um, but, yeah, if you see that, if you see your rail pressure starting to drop, we know what's up. Oh, the cars, it's a little rough. If you had called me and said, hey, Blake, my fuel pump's running almost like max. If you cycle, like, I got two hours to go. What's going to happen? I'm like, yeah, you're so. I, I, I'd say I'd, I'd unload my Cobra, but uh, mine won't make it very far either, brother. Let's just talk the tanks right quick. <laughs> yeah, we got a rolling parts car right there. Honestly, hey, man. If you're not using that, if you're not using that, that tank and pump, we'll just swap them. Well, think about this as a reality. More than likely, that one has bad pumps. Because guess what? That car has a really basic setup, but it has a piston delete. How does a car like that get piston delete? Brother? More power? No, it's got a six pound lower. It makes 14 pounds of boost. How does a car like that get a piston delete? Lean? 
It goes lean because the fuel pumps are probably f***ing shot. If you didn't pick it up from any of my videos, Terminator Cobras, the stock fuel pumps are not going to make 450 to 500 wheel horsepower when they're 20 years old. They, they're not going to. Do a fuel system. That's probably why this car has a pop motor. But let's, uh, let's keep tracking on, man. It's got a Kenny Bell inside. You were the old startup, bud. engine's healthy. That one, engine not so healthy, but she is pretty. All right, so we're really hoping that this thing doesn't uh, fry the, uh, the pumps on the way back. Open. Or at what's left of one pump, maybe. Oh, boy. Freaking Terminators, dude. All right, so we still got another, I think, two, out, two and a half hours back. Um, Fuel pumps, they're kind of on their last leg, but trust me, I really do like these uh, these Cobras, but um, what we're experiencing right now, it's unfortunately just old car stuff. That's why I highly, highly recommend doing a fuel system on a Terminator Cobra. If you're coming for a dyno day or whatever, it, it, these, these old pumps, the, the systems, they're just, they're rough. So hopefully the next clip is us parking the car up at the shop and we make it and uh we don't lose a pump on the side of the road because not too sure what the next plan of action will be at 12 o'clock at night but just gonna see what we can do all right 1 15 a.m uh we made it another two hours got another 20 minute drive how she uh so, well, we kind of figured out that the, the fuel be level being high, like it's probably got what, over three quarters of a tank right now? Yeah, I don't even see the dip much past the full. Yeah, so, but if the tank's full, then the pump's gonna stay cool and then it's not gonna start freaking out. But you said it's on like, it's max fuel pump duty cycle just to, just well, to drive. Dude, it's .49. Yeah. So it's not gonna break. Basically, the idea is if we can get it to your job, it's going to be there until I can figure out pumps for it. And after pumps, it's done. Yep. They put 60 pound judges on it just because 60s are just, they're just a little bit easier to tune. Yep. It's six gallons, so. It's yeah, it only took six gallons. Only? That's like a and a half a bro. Hmm. Look at that red fire Terminator. Don't mind my bumper. I got a good friend who's a body guy. Brother. Here you go. <laughs> we made it. We didn't have to leave it on the side of the road. I'm impressed. You were doubting it, man. I was like, that pump ain't gonna do it, bro. And then it did. Got the red fire. Terminator. Of course, she made it. Good old trusted trailer. It was the original idea for the black vert. But, you know. I think we'll check in tomorrow i think we're we're both fried all right so i got a quick tune in this thing i think the fuel pump is still messed up uh it won't go into uh really anywhere near uh what it's supposed to at wide open throttle but it's actually driving really good Now that we're back, uh, we're gonna get the car unstrapped. We're gonna get Blake's uh, Rovos type wheel off of the car, get the car back on the Whistlers. It does start up and run, so that's good. But uh, we already swapped Blake onto some spare wheels I had, and uh, we'll get this one back with a tire that isn't flat.
smell the oil. All right, top works. Top down, interior looks amazing. Obviously, motors hurt, but everything around it is good. Minor fix in the front bumper, but this thing is clean. I'm not a vert guy, but now I think I actually like this one. The other car I just settled, but this thing is sweet. Oh yeah. You can see Blake's over here. Uh, I had to steal my battery back because his had a bad battery and uh, got, a, got a replacement wheel right there. Not bad. All right, guys, so we made it back. That was quite the journey, uh, starting out with the flat tire, the fuel pump issue, the truck and trailer, Red Fire Terminator. It was all a breeze, but we now have the Red Fire Terminator. We're gonna fill you in on the plan with this and the Silver Cobra in the next video, but we're gonna drop out with this video. Blake got the Black Terminator back. I threw a tune in it. It runs pretty decent now. The fuel pumps are still shot, so I think you're gonna make a video yeah, the plan now is to kind of um, throw some pumps in this thing. I had some some stock. I had a stock like clean 03 Cobra, a little mile hat laying around. So we're going to slap that in the tank of this thing. Um, you know, put on the roller, see what it makes with the 2-2 Kenny Bell, a little boost. And then I got like some seats and stuff to throw into it. But... Yeah, so uh, check out Blake's channel, Certified Rippers. You're going to see the black vert. And of course, we are gonna be rebuilding this thing to just, it's gonna be beautiful. Um, Red Fire Terminator, make sure you hit the like button down below. This is bringing the channel back to its roots even more than the Silver Terminator, because other than this being a convertible. It's almost like the, the silver car and your old car kind of. Yeah, no, it's gonna be super awesome. So stay tuned. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. The Terminator content isn't stopping. It's actually accelerating at a rapid pace, so. We'll see you guys in the next one.